सी आई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास एट लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर एट कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी नाइन एट पॉइंट एट रेट कंपाउंडेड एनुअली और हाफ ईयरली और सेमी एनुअली यू मे वॉन्ट टू नो वाई Compounded annually was mentioned after rate. Does it mean anything? It does because we can also have interest rates compounded half yearly or quarterly. Let us see what happens to rupees hundred over a period of one year if an interest is compounded annually or half yearly. Time period and rate when interest not compounded annually. the time period after which the interest is added each time to form a new principal is called the conversion period when the interest is compounded half yearly there are two conversion periods in a year each after 6 months in such situations the half yearly rate will be half of the annual rate what will happen if interest is compounded quarterly In this case there are four conversion periods in a year and the quarterly rate will be 1/4 of the annual rate Here we have a table The table has two columns Column 1 is P is equal to rupees 100 at 10% per annum compounded annually Column 2 is P is equal to rupees 100 at 10% per annum compounded half yearly in the first column the time period taken is 1 year in the second column the time period taken is 6 months or half year in the first column i is equal to rupees 100 into 10 into 1 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 10 in second column i is equal to rupees 100 into 10 into half divided by 100 is equal to rupees 5 you can observe that the rate becomes half in the first column a is equal to rupees 100 plus rupees 10 is equal to rupees 110 in second column a is equal to rupees 100 plus rupees 5 is equal to rupees 105 now for next 6 months the p is equal to rupees 105 so i is equal to rupees 105 into 10 into half divided by 100 is equal to rupees 5.25 and a is equal to rupees 105 plus rupees 5.25 is equal to rupees 110.25 page number 130 there is an image of a teacher on left side of the page she says do you see that if interest is compounded half yearly we compute the interest two times so time period becomes twice and rate is taken half try these find the time period and rate for each One, a sum taken for one and a half years at eight percent per annum is compounded half yearly. Two, a sum taken for two years at four percent per annum compounded half yearly. Think, discuss, and write. A sum is taken for one year at sixteen percent per annum. If interest is compounded after every three months, how many times? will interest be charged in one year example 12 what amount is to be repaid on a loan of rupees 12000 for one and a half years at 10% per annum compounded half yearly solution we have a table here the table has two columns the heading for both the columns is principal for first 6 months is equal to rupees 12000 in the first column there are 
three half years in one and a half years. Therefore, compounding has to be done three times. Rate of interest is equal to half of 10% is equal to 5% half yearly. A is equal to P bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed raised to the power N is equal to rupees 12,000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed raised to the power 3 is equal to rupees 12,000 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 is equal to rupees 13,891.50. In the second column, time is equal to 6 months is equal to 6 by 12 year is equal to half year. Rate is equal to 10%. I is equal to rupees 12,000 into 10 into half divided by 100 is equal to rupees 600. A is equal to P plus I is equal to rupees 12,000 plus 600 is equal to rupees 12,600. It is principal for next 6 months. I is equal to rupees 12,600 into 10 into half divided by 100 is equal to rupees 630. Principal for third period is equal to rupees 12,600 plus rupees 630 is equal to rupees 13,230. I is equal to rupees 13,230 into 10 into half divided by 100 is equal to rupees 661.50. A is equal to P plus I is equal to rupees 13,230 plus rupees 661.50 is equal to rupees 13,891.50. Page number 131. Try these. Find the amount to be paid. 1. At the end of 2 years, on rupees 2400 at 5% per annum, compound it annually. 2. At the end of one year, on rupees 1800 at 8% per annum, compound it quarterly. Example 13. Find CI when a sum of rupees 10,000 is invested for one year and three months at 8.5% per annum, compound it annually. Solution. Mayuri first converted the time in years. 1 year 3 months is equal to 1 3 by 12 year is equal to 1 1 by 4 years. Mayuri tried putting the values in the known formula and came up with A is equal to rupees 10,000 bracket open 1 plus 17 by 200 bracket closed raised to the power 1, 1 by 4. Now she was stuck. She asked her teacher how would she find a power which is fractional. The teacher then gave her a hint. Find the amount for the whole part, that is, one year in this case. Then, use this as principle to get simple interest for 1 by 4 year more. Thus, A is equal to Rupees 10,000, bracket open, 1 plus 17 by 200, bracket closed, is equal to rupees 10,000 into 217 by 200, is equal to rupees 10,850. Now, this would act as principle for the next 1 by 4 year. We find the SI on rupees. 10,850 for 1 by 4 year. SI is equal to rupees 10,850 into 1 by 4 into 17 divided by 100 into 2 is equal to rupees 10,850 into 1 into 17 divided by 800 is equal to 
rupees 230.56 page number 132 interest for first year is equal to rupees 10850 minus rupees 10000 is equal to rupees 850 and interest for the next 1 by 4 year is equal to rupees 230.56 therefore total compound interest is equal to 850 plus 230.56 is equal to rupees 1080.56 8.9 applications of compound interest formula there are some situations where we could use the formula for calculation of amount in ci here are a few 1 increase or decrease in population 2 the growth of a bacteria if the rate of growth is known 3 the value of an item if its price increases or decreases in the intermediate years example 14 the population of a city was 20000 in the year 1997 it increased at the rate of 5% per annum find the population at the end of the year 2000 solution there is 5% increase in population every year so every new year has new population thus we can say it is increasing in compounded form population in the beginning of 1998 is equal to 20000 we treat this as the principal for the first year increase at 5% is equal to 5 by 100 into 20000 is equal to 1000 population in 1999 is equal to 20000 plus 1000 is equal to 21000 treat 21000 as the principal for the second year increase at 5% is equal to 5 by 100 into 21000 is equal to 1050 population in 2000 is equal to 21000 plus 1050 is equal to 22050 treat 22050 as the principal for the third year increase at 5% is equal to 5 by 100 into 22050 is equal to 1102.5 at the end of 2000 the population is equal to 22050 plus 1102.5 is equal to 23152.5 or population at the end of 2000 is equal to 20000 bracket open 1 plus 5 by 100 bracket closed raised to the power 3 is equal to 20000 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 into 21 by 20 is equal to 23152.5 so the estimated population is equal to 23153 page number 133 Aruna asked what is to be done if there is a decrease the teacher then considered the following example example 15 a tv was bought at a price of rupees 21000 after one year the value of the tv was depreciated by 5% depreciation means reduction of value due to use and age of the item find the value of the tv after 1 year solution principal is equal to rupees 21000 reduction is equal to 5% of rupees 21000 per year is equal to rupees 21000 into 5 into 1 divided by 100 is equal to rupees 1050 value at the end of 1 year is equal to rupees 21000 minus rupees 1050 is equal to rupees 19950 alternately 
we may directly get this as follows value at the end of 1 year is equal to rupees 21000 bracket open 1 minus 5 by 100 bracket closed is equal to rupees 21000 into 19 by 20 is equal to rupees 19950 try these 1 a machinery worth rupees 10500 depreciated by 5% find its value after 1 year 2 find the population of a city after 2 years which is at present 12 lakh if the rate of increase is 4% exercise 8.3 1 calculate the amount and compound interest on a rupees 10800 for 3 years at 12.5% per annum compounded annually b rupees 18000 for 2 and a half years at 10% per annum compounded annually c rupees 62500 for 1 and a half years at 8% per annum compounded half yearly d rupees 8000 for 1 year at 9% per annum compounded half yearly you could use the year by year calculation using si formula to verify e rupees 10000 for 1 year at 8% per annum compounded half yearly 2 kamla borrowed rupees 26400 from a bank to buy a scooter at a rate of 15% per annum compounded yearly what amount will she pay at the end of 2 years and 4 months to clear the loan hint find a for 2 years with interest is compounded yearly and then find si on the second year amount for Four and a half years. Page number one thirty four. Three. Fabina borrows rupees twelve thousand five hundred at twelve percent per annum for three years at simple interest, and Radha borrows the same amount for the same time period at ten percent per annum, compounded annually. Who pays more interest and by how much? Four, I borrowed rupees twelve thousand from Jamshed at six percent per annum, simple interest for two years. Had I borrowed this sum at six percent per annum, compound interest, what extra amount would I have to pay? Five, Vasudevan invested rupees sixty thousand at an interest rate of twelve percent per annum, compounded half yearly. What amount would he get? One after six months. Two after one year. Six. Arif took a loan of rupees eighty thousand from a bank. If the rate of interest is ten percent per annum, find the difference in amounts he would be paying after one and a half years. If the interest is one, compounded annually. Two. compounded half yearly 7 maria invested rupees 8000 in a business she would be paid interest at 5% per annum compounded annually find 1 the amount credited against her name at the end of the second year 2 the interest for the third year 8 find the amount and the compound interest on rupees 10000 for 1 and a half years at 10% per annum compounded half yearly would this interest be more than the interest he would get if it was compounded annually 9 find the amount which ram will get on rupees 4096 if he gave it for 18 months at 12 and a half percent per annum interest being compounded half yearly 
the population of a place increased to 54,000 in 2003 at a rate of 5% per annum. 1. Find the population in 2001. 2. What would be its population in 2005? 11. In a laboratory, the count of bacteria in a certain experiment was increasing at the rate of 2.5% per hour. Find the bacteria at the end of 2 hours if the count was initially 5,6,000. 12. A scooter was bought at Rs. 42,000. Its value depreciated at the rate of 8% per annum. Find its value after one year. Page number 135. What have we discussed? 1. Discount is a reduction given on marked price. Discount is equal to marked price minus sale price. 2. Discount can be calculated when discounted percentage is given. Discount is equal to discount percent of marked price. 3. Additional expenses made after buying an article are included in the cost price and are known as overhead expenses. CP is equal to buying price plus overhead expenses. 4. Sales tax is charged on the sale of an item by the government and is added to the bill amount. Sales tax is equal to tax percentage of bill amount. 5. GST stands for Goods and Services Tax and is levied on supply of goods or services or both. 6. Compound interest is the interest calculated on the previous year's amount. A is equal to P plus I. 7. 1. Amount when interest is compounded annually is equal to P bracket open 1 plus R by 100 bracket closed raised to the power N. P is principal, R is rate of interest, N is time period. 2. Amount when interest is compounded half yearly is equal to P bracket open 1 plus R by 200 bracket closed raised to the power 2N. R by 2 is half yearly rate and 2N is equal to number of half years. Here, we have an image of few students studying. Page number 136 Notes This chapter ends here. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Ruchi Sharma Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And this program is presented to you by C-I-E-T, N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.